Dia de los Muertos is less than a month away, and there's an opportunity here in San Diego to get a head start on an important way to honor your departed loved ones. Joining us this morning is Daniel Pozos from Dia del, Dia del Cafe, but yes. also an instructor uh, yeah. of uh, what we're going to be talking about today, basically how you can get a head start uh, earlier on this month and how we can honor those loved ones. So yes. thank you for being with us. Thank Daniel. you for having us. Uh, I want you to start off by telling us what Dia de los Muertos is and what it's, it's meant to symbolize. Well, Dia de los Muertos is a Mexican tradition that goes back thousands of years, and it's there to honor the life of loved ones who have passed. Uh, as Mexicans believe there's three types of death, the one's the physical one, the one where you're non, no longer visited, mm -hmm. and the one you're completely forgotten. So we make sure every year to remember those loved ones who have passed and who have had an impact on our lives in the community. And obviously a lot of us know it, and especially people who are not part of the Mexican community probably know it coinciding with Halloween, but yes. you were saying it predates Halloween. Yeah, and in, in the Americas it predates Halloween. Right. This is more of reun uh, reuniting with your loved ones. It's nothing scary. Mm -hmm. It's about right. life. It's a celebration of life. Yeah. And that's what that's about. So uh, making these altars is obviously very intricate yes. in terms of the process and, yes. and the time that people spend mm -hmm. going into it. So Dia del Cafe is going to be the place where a couple events are going to be taking yes. place over the next couple of weeks. One starting, what, next Wednesday, right? Yes. The first one. Yes. Uh -huh. And then from there, you'll have several ones, it looks like, moving yes. forward. So what's the goal of these events? Is it to, to teach people how to put these altars together? Yes, it's to teach people the history, mm -hmm. uh, the culture, and everyone could do it, right? right. Uh, this is Mexico's gift to the world, right? We just no longer have a cuisine and everything else we also have this and we want everyone to learn and participate at home so let's walk through what people are gonna learn we, you set up an awesome display here okay uh, so is this how an altar would look yes there's different uh, types of altars okay. this is a more common one the three levels the three tiers mm -hmm. there's seven there's four but we have to have four basic things on here elements we have to have water we have to have air we have okay. to have fire and we have to have earth and that's represented the waters represented through something liquid mm -hmm. the other cafe coffee of course there we go. Uh, the candles to represent fire okay uh, papel picado that represents the wind and how do we represent earth the food yeah that's like how it. we give it so these are pre-columbian symbols and they're here today with us in 2022. The levels are as, as this, uh, the first one here is the heaven level where okay. the people who have died, you put their pictures up. Right. Here we have Father Brown and Father Jaime Rasura who were pivotal in the Chicano movement in Barrio Logan. Okay. Uh, and then we have all the saints and things like that. The second part is earth and also the things that the loved ones loved. I know Father Brown loved masapan and Mexican candy. Right. Uh, we have the traditional pan dulce and the sugar skulls. And here the bottom one is the entrance to the altar. Are these called ni nichos? Nichos, okay. exactly. So these nichos are like m small, like shadow boxes, small little altars you display or you carry with you. And that's gonna be also one of the lessons yes, that are yes. coming so up. Yes, yes, there's three parts here. We're gonna do these. You, you participate in the class, you know the history, the culture and you walk away with your own and uh, also is flowers are part of it too yes yeah, so these flower crowns oh, right. will also be part of the classes okay these will be made and we'll explain the history and why and you walk home with your own unique flower crown this is so cool and I imagine I mean is this geared toward maybe the younger generation who hasn't had experience or just for anyone it's for everyone wants? our hope is that the younger generations take this up and right. continue this tradition but it's for everyone right, right? again I'll reiterate this is Mexico's gift to the world yeah it's a healing process it's something personal to talk about a loved one yeah but when you share it with the community you know it's it hurts a little less right uh, remind us where people can go. Do people need to sign up in advance? Is there a cost? They could, they could go. There's a minimal cost okay. to it. But if you follow La Mexicana events uh -huh. on Instagram or Dia del Café at Tony Relas, yeah. uh, they're amazing. And they're the ones who brought us here. And Julio also who brought us out here. Yeah. So we're thankful for that. Shout out to Julio. We love Julio. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, your Instagram page has a list of all of yes. those uh, locations, yes. times, times, all Times and the fees and everything associated. I with. mean, we only have about 30 seconds left before we go. I mean, what does it mean to you? Do you, do you, do you uh, it's those? life. I I remember celebrating as a kid and learning about my family. My grandmother used to do this and she'd be doing an altar for her great grandparents. There we go. So that would yeah. be for me, I was connect connecting with them. Awesome. So, Daniel, thank you for being thank with us. Thank you. Shout out to your students that are watching. Thank you guys, students. Right. Thank you. <laughs>